a railgun of a right hand. A calibrated left hook. Slicing elbows. Piercing knees. Reactive takedowns. Nice takedown. And a full deck of strangles. Charles Oliveira is a rare kind of champion. Unwilling to succumb to the hype, he captured the UFC lightweight title through hard work and determination. The tenacious Brazilian had his share of losses, but kept coming back like a phoenix. Charles Oliveira, the most submission wins. And many moons later, having decorated his trophy wall with elite scalps, the kid from the favelas ascended to the throne of mixed martial arts. Today we examine the fighting arsenal of a natural born cage hunter, Charles Oliveira. This is gonna hurt. The Brazilian first stepped on a jiu-jitsu mat at the age of 12 and quickly realized what he wanted to do for a living. At just 20 years old, Dubronx landed in the UFC and quickly gained fame as a true BJJ artist. However, due to a horrendous weight cut to 145 pounds, Charles would often run out of steam and even lose in his own domain. Excellent guillotine, both legs all over. Body shots were especially debilitating for Oliveira. And what gave the lean and lanky Brazilian the most trouble was multi-level attacks. Body there by Cub. A good oh. left hook to body. Very good shot. Oh, oh good over right the top. over the top. Oh. And he's hurt. Yeah. Now, Dubronx is in his 30s. He's finally settled down at lightweight and has added head movement to his style. My goodness. Charles's offensive improvement in tit-for-tat exchanges cannot be overestimated either. Swatch me. Guillotine at right hand. When things get ugly, he still eats hefty bombs, but the confrontations do not end there. The chin doesn't freeze anymore, stamina does not betray, and it is Oliveira now who breaks the will of even the best in the division. Unafraid of being taken down, Charles adopted his way of striking from Thai boxing. It explains his active use of the lead leg, as well as the upright short stance. Another feature of this style is a high guard and combinations from both hands. For Charles Oliveira. Nasty right hand, he's landed combination after combination. Being back foot heavy, the Brazilian rarely throws a jab, although it can be really sharp. With this approach, the front kick mostly replaces the jab and is always used creatively. Charles is drawing any confidence here. He's got three rounds to work, so if you lose a point in a round... On the feet, Oliveira has showcased his upgrade in punching power. Big right hand from Oliveira. That his right uppercut is money. There it is. This is a crazy high pace. Shit, good stiff jab. Oh, my! But the biggest menace is the hammer of a straight right. Meanwhile, by adding a left hook to his arsenal, Dubronx took the striking to a completely new level. For a moment, was Charles Oliveira. The hooking motion also serves as an entry to the clinch and to set up the right on the exit. With a right hand here. From the very start of the clash between Michael Chandler and Oliveira, the American began to burn the gas tank. A lot of things to discourage him from coming forward into it. He's so After connecting with a left, he jumped for the guillotine left hands from Chandler. and tried a risky slam. But even a knockdown couldn't crush Charles. In the second round, they fired right hands simultaneously. Both missed, but only Dubronx came out of the shootout with a signature left. Exhausted Chandler failed to spring back from the perfectly placed hook. An intense drum beat to the head ended the extravaganza of a title bout.
Oliveira's tie stance opens an opportunity to use the legs in multiple ways. And busters straight away. Unbothered by the wrestling threat, he mastered the low kicks. But chopping down the limbs is not his main priority. The official sports drink of UFC. Headhunting is more enticing, so Charles never misses an opportunity to fly into the air with a stunning blow. But everything changes in close quarters when Oliveira switches to debilitating knees. By Oliveira. Joe, they both connected with punches of Big knee by Oliveira. In the clinch, they pierce right through the gut. Oh, oh he's down! down goes Besides, Dubronx can deliver knees from any range, followed by cutting elbows and tie-ups. That left hook is yep. very clean, no wind-up. Thanks to his reach, they can connect from distance too. Hook by Tony. Let's take a look at that. David Tamer's eye pokes lowered his karma bar and infuriated Oliveira quite a bit. And now he says, let's bring it on, let's get to action. The Brazilian's elbow marked the beginning of the end. Right before the lunge, Dubronx moved to the left. The outside foot placement gave him an advantageous angle. The arm swing became a feint. The next step put Oliveira into a launch spot. A reverse upward elbow found the dome. A hit with a taste of agony set off a finishing storm. Charles only better try to end the fight, Tamer. Unlike most jujitsu practitioners, Charles is an extremely proficient wrestler. His grappling becomes an order of magnitude more dangerous for the simple reason that Oliveira can ground opponents right into a favorable position. Take down, there's one. Let alone, he is effective with a whizzer kick. Tosses but it is the reactive takedown that became the hallmark of Dubronx. Forcing his adversary to answer to unrelenting pressure, the Brazilian unexpectedly ducks under the punches, then he knocks over the off-balanced foe. Reactive shots usually end with a classic wrestling double leg. Nice takedown. If it doesn't work, Charles instinctively switches to a body lock takedown. Nice leg, leg kick there by Oliveira. And look at the squeeze on Oliveira. Once the fight goes to the floor, the rival's neck is in danger of a rear naked choke, especially after a panicky attempt to get up. Scrambles to his feet quickly. Oliver's got his back. Wow. Oliver's got the choke. Oh, he's got it in deep. That's it is all over. But even a textbook wall walk can lead to another throw and back exposure, which is a point of no return. But his UFC debut, same sort of situation. He's he's tapped tapped tapped. Tapped. The very style of Oliveira's wrestling is well suited for transitioning behind the opponent. As Dustin Poirier can testify, oh, the ninth and latest victim of the rear naked choke is Justin Gaethje, who got rocked with a cracking right hand before being strangled on the canvas. In 2010, Dubronx lost to Jim Miller by submission. Jim's got a oh, it is all over! It is all As eight years had gone by, they faced off again, so Charles was determined to get revenge. Noticing the start of the opponent's attack, Oliveira anticipated a low kick and lifted the shin for a check. The Brazilian counteroffensive started with a grip around the torso. And this is exactly by rearing up, he unbalanced the American. A high amplitude throw finished the task. By Moments later, Jim gave up the back. The choke didn't take long. Miller's face turned purple like a belt, indicating surrender to the BJJ ace. Unbelievable. Oliveira's aggression and high pace can force even experienced opposition to switch to a panic wrestling mode. In this case, Charles has a front headlock ready to go, and the magic begins. Dubronx has the entire range of strangles in the arsenal, including a decapitating guillotine. A neck-breaking jumping variation is also on his resume. 
injuries and all sorts of trouble. Yeah, it's all over. Next comes the Dars choke, where one arm slides under the victim's shoulder and the other one secures the lock at the neck. Nastiest move. Yeah. The Anaconda choke has a special place in Oliveira's heart, and David Taymor found it out the hard way. A stunning elbow and a following sequence opened up the road to a barrage of punches. As soon as Taymor turned to face Charles, the Brazilian inserted the choking arm as if for a guillotine. Pulling David down to the floor, Oliveira closed the lock with his bicep. An eloquent finish just took a few seconds. Taymor chose to tap. Charles also perfected his patented Dubronx choke, a modified anaconda. And there's the tap, Charles Oliveira! From the front headlock, Oliveira grabs the head and arm. But instead of rolling, the Brazilian clamps down on the opponent with his legs and starts squeezing the carotid arteries. The suffocating foe is left with two options, give in or go out. Has nothing to do but tap! As previously mentioned, being a formidable ground player, Oliveira is not afraid to give up a position to snatch up a submission. If it doesn't pay dividends, then the adversary ends up in his guard. Dubronx tries an arm bar. Scrambles to guard. Elkins is in all kinds of trouble. Oh, it's done. Wow. Or a triangle. Look at this, Oliveira with the triangle choke. That's oh, it. there's the tap. Charles Oliveira. An upkick is always at the ready to stun a standing enemy. However, high-level fighters could stand up from the guard and start unleashing. That's where leg locks come into play. A leg lock! Heel hooks are somewhat despised in BJJ due to their injury potential. In MMA, though, they will make anyone desperately run away. When things get heated, a leg entanglement is a great way to initiate a scramble, and perhaps even transfer to the back. Going against Eric Wisely on a three-fight winless streak, Charles needed a decisive victory. Getting an easy takedown at the start... Stand up straight, leg. Trying to work him around. Drop down for a heel hook. 30 seconds later, Oliveira started fishing for the heel. Showing defensive awareness, Wisely turned around and escaped the immediate threat. But the Brazilian rapidly switched to a compression lock. By pulling the American close, Dubronx performed the first calf slicer in UFC history. The fading scream drowned in the ecstatic roar of the crowd. Locked in a terrible position there, and he's forced to tap. Chick sure getting kissed. There are a lot of hungry, heavy-handed contenders in the UFC lightweight division. But after Khabib Nurmagomedov's departure, there is only one challenger who could overcome the sorcery of Charles Oliveira's grappling. Yet, Dubronx became the UFC record holder for the most submissions, finishes, and total fight night bonuses for a reason. In the cage, he makes sure the opponent fully realizes the fragility of life when it's in the hands of another person. Oliveira forces the tap! Charles Oliveira, another submission! Oliveira has his flaws, but through perseverance, he has become the deadliest among his peers. A worthy champion and a role model. Jab early. Oh, he's got it in deep. That's it. It's all over! Agony There's on the, the face, tap. that's it! Charles Oliveira closes the rivalry! If you like the video and look forward to another chapter of Signature Techniques, punch the like button and subscribe to our channel. Injuries and all sorts of trouble. Yeah, it's all over.